What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What is going on everybody? I am so excited because today, uh, for this video at least, we are literally just gonna be opening up 145 packs of Acoria Lair of Behemoth. This obviously literally just dropped today. Uh, I'm really hoping that during this whole thing we don't lose out on, you know, connection or any issues like that because I know they're probably still kind of doing some update stuff. But regardless, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, there are a lot of cards that we are looking for, obviously, in this set. We're going to do our best not to take too long going through all of these, but I do want to kind of point out some of the really cool cards, uh, obviously, which there are quite a few uh, that we're going to see in here. So let's just jump in. Uh, I'm really excited about this, guys. This set is awesome. Got our uncommon wild card here. Um, I'm kind of learning the set still. Uh, so there's a lot. Um, that's interesting. There's a lot that I don't know about this set. Uh, there's a lot that I do know, and we've talked about some of it already in our Demir video. Uh, Everquill Phoenix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a pretty cool one. I like that card. Um, so there's a lot that we've talked about with like the Demir Flash stuff because uh, we did a, a video on pre Ikoria, uh version of that list, and I'm really, really excited to uh, to actually play with the actual Ikoria cards. Uh, cool, okay. Mythos of Snapdax. Okay, each player chooses an artifact creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker from among the permanents they controlled and sacrifices the rest. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, if red and black was spent to cast this, you choose those permanents. That's awesome. I like that. <clears throat> um, so like I said, there's a lot of learning that I need to do uh, with this set. I'm going to turn my mic down just a hair. Uh, but still, this set, from what I have seen, looks very, very cool. I'm excited to see how Mutate works out uh, in particular. Grim Dancer. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. The the Bouncing Shore Shark. I love that. Uh, let's see what we get here. Ooh. Apex of Forever, 6-6 six, six, Trampler. Uh, this is the Sultai version. I don't know what the the clans are technically called or whatever they are. Uh, you can mutate for two hybrid blue, black, and two green. You can play it from your graveyard using your mutate. Okay, I'm in. <clears throat> um, lots of really, really powerful stuff. We're looking for a particular uh, few cards when we go to uh, update this Demir deck. Mythos of Aluna. Aluna? Uh, token that's copy permanent, just in case. That's really cool. I really love the art on these Mythos cards. They are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to try and speed up just a little bit because we are going through a lot of packs here. Uh, Hemophage, Rooting, okay. And another Mythos of Snapdax. Okay, well, we got our first duplicate in the first five packs. That's pretty interesting. Um, more wild cards. See what we get whenever you try to draw the card. Oh, Whirlwind of Thought. That's a really sweet card, uh, I think. That's a certainly a build-around card um, for spell sorcery kind of decks. Uh, these are really nice, too, by the way. Um, I actually like those. Excuse me, quite a lot. Uh, let's see. Savai Triome. Okay, these are the Tri lands. They do have cycling, and then they, they work for three. So... Savai is the Mardu equivalent. Um, this is a really cool land cycle. So this does count as fetchable lands as well. Uh, mountain plains and swamp. So it works very, very well with uh, fetch lands if you're outside of arena. Uh, but it also has cycling for three, which is really cool. Uh, absolutely love that. That's awesome. God, I'm excited about this set, guys. It's going to be really, really sweet. Uh, Titan's Nest. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may play that card. Uh, you may put that card into your graveyard. Exile the card from your graveyard. Add generic. Spend this mana only to cast colored spells without X in their mana cost. Smart that they put without X in their mana cost. Um, this card is like weirdly amazing, by the way. Barrier Breach. Um, very cool. Man, there's so much good stuff in this set. Um, Still haven't really seen any of the cards we're looking for for the Flash deck, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not, obviously I'm not too worried. Ooh, Fiend Artisan. Okay, this card is really cool. So hybrid green and black, you need two of each. 
uh, or two of either, excuse me, for a 1-1. It gets plus 1, plus 1 for each card in your graveyard. So as you go through the game, this is going to scale up. Pay X and a hybrid of green or black. Tap it, sacrifice another creature. Creature, Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So essentially, this is like survival of the fittest. Granted, you have to pay a lot more mana, but it's on a stick. Like this is just a really solid card. I'm so excited to play with that. Uh, really, really happy to open that. That card is sweet. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of skipping through the commons here. A lot of them are not super exciting. Wild card. That's good. Um, and we'll get, as we get closer to the end, obviously, we'll, we'll be skipping a lot more. Uh, cool, cool. Not super exciting. What is this? Choose out or even exile each creature with converted mana cost to the chosen value. Interesting kind of sweeper. I like that they exile. That's really sweet. Um, don't know how good that is in general. Um, I assume it's not bad. Uh, whenever you draw a card, put a four shadow counter on the maybe eight counters. That's cool. In tandem with the uh, card we saw earlier, whenever you play a non-creature spell, draw a card. That's very sweet. Uh, cycling also very nice. Labyrinth Raptor, a two-two for two menace. Whenever creature you call you control with menace becomes blocked. Defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. Wow. So this is a menace lord essentially. That's really cool. I love that they're playing with keywords a little bit more, and they've got the keyword counters. I think that's so cool. Uh, put a Menace counter, yep. Uh, Zagoth Crystal, Parcel Beast. There we go, C Dash or Octopus. So this is one of the ones we want for the Flash deck. So uh, it has Flash, it also has Mutate for one and a blue. It costs one and two blue for a two two. Uh, whenever this creature deals damage to a player, uh, combat damage to a player, you draw a card. Uh, so you can mutate this in onto some of your other stuff and then draw cards after, off of it. Excuse me. So very, very sweet card. Um, back for more. Turn target When you do it, it fights up to one. That's a really sweet card. Back for more. Uh, and another Mythos of Snapdax. That's our third Mythos of Snapdax. Uh, interesting. Um, another one of those. Okay. I like, by the way, that they put the, uh, the first little tagline up there that is really nice three three uh for two and two black flash and flying mutate it for six whenever this creature mutates destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls that's very good um that might make it into the flash deck we'll see um becomes a little bit slower i suppose but that's you know still very very good uh okay cast a non-creature spell create an xx blue shark wow that's really cool that's quite good as well, uh, Sharknado. Um, but that's actually really good in comparison with, or in tandem, excuse me, with the non-creature kind of deck. Um, gives you a way to make the creatures, which is nice. Uh, Hornbash Mentor. Cool. Uh, and then Boot Nipper. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, Offspring's Revenge at the beginning of combat on your turn. Exile target red. Uh, create a copy of that card. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that in the enchantment deck. I like this little art too. It's really sweet. Um, let's see. Plus seven, plus seven. Wow. Um, ooh, Luris of Dreams Den. Uh, so these, this is the first of the companion cards that we're say seeing. So companion is really interesting. So if your starting deck meets the requirements, uh, you can cast this once from just outside the game. And in competitive play, that sideboard. Uh, casual play, obviously, just kind of, you have it. Uh, but this is a really, really interesting mechanic. So in this case, each permanent card in your starting deck has converted mana cost two or less. So everything in your deck, uh, to be able to utilize this, has to have that low, low mana cost, but then you can play this from outside at any time. So during each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. So you get a lot of replay value out of this. That's actually really cool. I like that. Um, a couple wild cards there as well. Uh, ooh, two new uncommons. Keen Sight Mentor. Okay. Draw four. Ooh, there we go. How many do we have right now? Okay. Awesome, awesome. Loving this, guys. Absolutely loving this. Uh, okay, another companion. This is the, uh, the Wellspring. Okay, so this adds Wooburg. This mana can be spent to pay generic mana cost. Can't be spent to be paying, uh, generic mana cost. Very, very cool. Uh, interesting, interesting card. 
so many cool cards out of this. Uh, Void Beckoner, Proud Will Bonder. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. Uh, two, two for two. <clears throat> Whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type that permanent produced. So you get to obviously add mana there. Uh, pay seven, look at the top five cards of your library. You can put a non-human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, put the rest on the bottom in any order. That's pretty good. It's seven mana, but you ramp with this, so that's actually really solid. Man, so many powerful things. I love this. Absolutely love this. Still getting a bunch of firsts in the common and uncommon slot. Oh, this little guy, Alm Almighty uh, Brushwag. This thing is sweet. One, one for one with Trample. Pay four and it gets plus three, plus three. That's pretty awesome. And our second Octopus, perfect. So we are two of those away from getting our playset. That's pretty good. Uh, also, I'm kind of focusing on those solely because um, that is the deck. Ooh, nice. Um, that's the deck that we're looking to play first uh, with this. There's going to be a lot of revamping with that deck, so I'm really interested. A lot of first still. Uh, Death's Oasis. Two cards of elevator in your turn. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, going to try and start speeding up just a little bit. We're still getting a lot of first cards, but... There we go, Vivian Monsters Advocate. Uh, very, very good. Uh, we did pre-order, so we did get this already. That's why it does not have first, but this is a very powerful card. Very excited about it. New Vivian. Uh, let's see. Unpredictable Cyclone. Five mana enchantment. If a cycling card, draw a card instead. Exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a card that shares a card type with the cycled card. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost, then put the eggs out. That's very, very cool. There's going to be a lot of jank decks out of that. Uh, very, very cool. I love that. Uh, I'm really excited for a lot of those build-around cards. Uh, if you didn't already... Shark Typhoon. Uh, if you didn't already watch, uh, Will and I kind of started a brand new series, which we're really excited about. Ooh, Sprite Dragon. Love that. Uh, we're really excited about it. It's called the JDC Jank Deck Competition. Hate bears. Um... It's essentially just us playing around and goofing off, uh, but we we kind of get to play decks that... Oh, nice. Second Fiend Artisan. Uh, we get to play decks that are not necessarily as good for competitive play. So we get to really, really kind of do some silly stuff. Mythos of Nethroi. Very cool. Oh, this is the weirdly worded one. That's funny. Um, so we we played... Well, I played a four-color Mirror Mance deck. He played a Mill Combo deck. Um, both of which were really, really fun. Nice. Apex of Wishes. Absolutely love that card. We have a proxy of this, which will be voted on this month, too. So that might be a proxy reward uh, for Patreon next month. Um, but regardless, so we, we started this little mini-series, uh, and it's really, really fun. Uh, the plan is to do it once a week. We might end up doing it more often. It might be a little less. It just kind of depends on timing. But uh, we're really, really excited about that. It's just such a fun time. Like, it's literally just us getting to sit down and play some magic, which we don't normally get to do, so, uh, it's actually really fun. Okay, number three. We got it. Uh, there is an uncommon that we have not gotten any of, uh, for that flash deck, which I'm kind of surprised about. Uh, the Micro Sage. Macro Sage, excuse me. Contains only the card when it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each permanent you control with converted mana cost three or greater. That's pretty cool. It's a giant hippo. I like it. Um, let's see. Kind of dwindling down here on the commons and uncommons, which is good. We were looking to uh, finish play sets, obviously. Nice. Zenith Flare. That's our second haunted night hunted nightmare, excuse me. Um I'm excited to know, so, oh wow, two nice uncommons. Okay, uh, the collector, each non-land card, choose a card type, you'll choose a card type. That's really cool, I like that. Uh, I'm really interested to know what decks you guys are interested in building. There's, obviously with a new set, there's a lot of hype. Uh, there's always a lot of hype, nice. Uh, for good reason, I mean, it's really fun to, to open up new cards, obviously. Uh, but I'd love to know what decks specifically, nice, second one of those you're interested in building, um, there's a lot of options with this. There there really are, with three colors being the theme now. Um, second one of those. It's really cool to be able to see uh, what kind of deck archetypes come out of this and you know what kinds of things we can do. 
Ooh, eerie ultimatum. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. Love these ultimatums. Really, really excited they brought those back. Um, so please, by all means, uh, you know, let me know. Comment section below. Nice. Sagoth Triumph. I love these Trilands. Uh, let me know in the comment sections uh, what, what you guys are interested in playing. I would love to, if you guys have some deck lists already, please, please send them my way. Uh, I would absolutely love that so I can start recording some more videos. Uh, I've got a few in mind already uh, that I'm really excited about, obviously starting with Demir Flash, but that's not obviously an exhaustive list. This is an interesting card as well. Um, and so I'd love to to see what you guys you know have an interest in, see what, uh, what decks you want to get played. Shark Typhoon, number three, I believe. Um, that way I can kind of tailor the content to what you guys want. Um, second Wellspring, that's cool. I love the art in this set as well. Obviously it's a very like, you know, like things are a little bit more crazy, like Elemental Cat, seriously? Um, this is very good by the way. Maybe there's a blue white flyers deck in this that I'm, I'm interested in trying. We do have the Flying Lord still, I believe. Crasher, 6-6 six, six, Trampler, 4-5. Jeez. Okay. Um, what I might do is once we get down to 90 or 80, we might do 10 at a time. Since at this point, we're really just looking at the rares. We've we've gotten most of the commons and uncommons that we're looking to get. Uh, or that are, you know, new cards, I should say. Not all of them, surprisingly, but we're certainly getting there. So I think at this point, we kind of just want to look at the rares. There we go, Cunning Knight Bonder. That was the one that we were looking for. Ooh, the Pry Piercer. Odd converted mana cost. Very, very cool. I, this is just such a cool set, guys. Absolutely love this. Uh, second Cunning, nice. Uh, second Great Shark, along with the Shore Shark. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and start doing 10 at a time. All right, let's go 10. See what we get. Look at our rares. Okay, already had this. Did not already have this. Shuffle your library. That's cool. That's a really cool card. Um, this thing is massive. Plus 20, plus 20. That is insane. Uh, we've had that. Ah, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Mythos of Vadrock. I believe this is our last Mythos. And this is the Jeskai equivalent. Um, very good. Uh, and then Crystalline Giants. That's cool. Oh, I love that. That's very cool. So you just get to build up those counters. And then, oh, I'm sorry. I don't believe we had that one either. Very nice. All right, another 10. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, nice. Uh, very cool. Another Tri-Land. Genesis ultimatum, uh, putting a number of permanent. Oh, it's like a Genesis wave. That's cool. Uh, Lava Ring Venture. Eh, that's fine. Um, saw that already. This is a new cat. That's cool. Um, Eerie ultimatum we've had. Sky Cat Sovereign. Really like this card. Uh, Songs of Creation. That's very good. That's really cool. Oh my god, I love that. Um, okay, 10 more. Opening so many cards. I love opening cards. It's so much fun. Uh, okay, this is our only new one, Luminous Broodmoth. Uh, this one was spoiled pretty early. Whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return it to the battlefield. That's cool. You just get built-in protection. I love that. This is so cool. God, this set is awesome. Um, wow. Okay. Um, Apex of Death. Love it. 5545. Five, five. Death Touch Lifelink, mutate when this creature means returning a number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. Huge reanimator. Uh, that's very cool. And then Doom of Depths, 6646. Six, cards with even converted mana cost. And another reanimator kind of. Man, that's so cool. Okay. 10 more. We got one more, one new one. Sky Nomad Companion. Oh, this has to be a huge deck. That's cool. Awesome. Awesome. Man, so many cool things, guys. Holy crap. Uh, ooh, Slither Wisp, definitely one for the Flash deck. Very, very happy to get that. 
Fill our creatures with insect tap target creature. That's quite good as well. Very, very cool. Really loading up on these tri lands, which feels good. Uh, I always hate to spend wild cards on lands, but it's like the first thing you should spend them on because it just kind of makes sense. Nice. We got uh, this is a new, not a new card technically because again we've already had the pre order, but very good. Uh, second slither wisp. Happy about that. Draw card active. Uh, that's very good as well uh, for the right deck. All right, twenty more packs. Let's go. Ten and ten. Okay, another ultimatum, ruinous ultimatum. <clears throat> this is a one-sided board wipe. That's pretty amazing. Uh, and then Zerta the Dawn. This is a beautiful card, by the way. Uh, I was to... Okay, they all have to have activated abilities. That's so cool, though. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Uh, actually, really happy to get this. I want to see what we can do with it. All right, last 10. Very, very excited, guys. This has been so cool. Ooh, yes, we got the Otter. This card's banned. Uh, in, in Commander, but very, very cool to get it here. Uh, no new cards, really happy to get another one of these, and of course, wild cards are always welcome. This card is insane, though, uh, in Commander. It's basically a freebie. Um, awesome, guys. This was so much fun. So we've got, we're ending with 26 rare wild cards and 15 mythic rare wild cards. And of course, a butt ton of common and uncommon. Really, really excited to see what this set has to offer. Of course, we will be playing some games, hopefully later today if I can. Uh, if not, then absolutely by tomorrow. I really hope you enjoyed this little kind of pack opening video. This is kind of a first for us. We normally do them in person, not, uh, you know, on arena. But I think that this is a really fun way to do it. So maybe we'll continue this, uh, assuming we get some some good viewership. So thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Please check out our Patreon and all that stuff as well. And I will see you, hopefully very soon, with another gameplay video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.